All right, hello and welcome back to Tom Q's Tech Tips. Today we are talking about pan, tilt, and zoom. Actually more, more accurately remote pan, tilt, and zoom with the iPhone using a gimbal. If you've tracked with the channel at all, I've made some videos about this, this idea and this some ways of doing this. I actually found a way about a year and a half to hack uh, the DJI Ohm with a combination of Switcher Studio and either Filmic Pro or Movie Pro to do the panning and the tilting with Switcher Studio and the remote zoom and exposure with Filmic or Movie Pro. So I actually put this into practice last August, paid my $50 for a week um, to Switcher Studio, and this worked pretty flawlessly for a day and a half. And I'm just going to do a quick little video of how of how this worked. So let's uh, let's switch over to that. So we'll go here and in the upper right and the lower left you can see uh, see the gimbal moving around and how responsive it is. I mean it I just love how smooth that is. Anyway, uh, you might be able to see how I've kind of got the cables looped and they're touching the table down here so it's kind of relieving some of the weight of the Apple uh, digital AV adapter that gives you that. Okay, so that was the idea and I did a, a lot of playing around with this and it worked for me. Um, now I did, I actually even substituted this cable right here. This is an, a, a lightning extension cable that eliminated the bulk of that Apple digital AV adapter from hanging off of the phone. So I thought with I thought this was going to eliminate the issue. And um, for the conference, this is actually a 12 Pro Max. For the conference, I actually had a, an iPhone 13 Pro, not Max, so it, it weighed less than this. And um, so anyway, got to the conference and it worked for a day and a half. And then uh, I'm going to show you what happened. So this particular speaker did a lot of moving around the previous the previous speakers. I think there were four speakers before him. Um, we're pretty static behind the podium. But this one moved and he, he also had a PowerPoint presentation, which was good for me because I was actually the PowerPoint was actually live when this happened. So so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click, and this is about another 20 seconds. So let's let's go into that. So I'm at live was actually the PowerPoint, and boom, there goes the motor. Took me a minute, uh, took me a few seconds to notice it, and then and then I walked over to the camera. I was off to the side at my little station, walked over to the camera and fixed it. So. So anyway, I, I recovered for the live presentation, but that pretty much told me that what I've been dreaming about with the DJI Ohm 4 is just not going to be possible. So, so anyway, uh, probably about four months, four or five months ago, I saw a video on the Hohim iSteady MT2, and um, it was basically talking about the let's let's switch views here so i'm going to go ahead and pull that up so so anyway i i um i'm not i'm not going to be showing the iphone on this gimbal although it works fine it's th th one nice thing about this is that you can balance the gimbal which with with the dji it's basically has balanced itself just based on you know it's uh it's design so with the the Hohem, there's there's three different axes where you can where you can balance the product, and so I I can I can get I can get the iPhone with this extra little cable coming off of the side, nicely balanced. And then the other thing about it is this particular gimbal was not designed for an iPhone; it was designed for heavier products. So even with the weight of the 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 cable coming off the side, um, it's not going to be an issue. So I've actually got a power cable dangling off the side here. 
I've got the clean HDMI or the, the HDMI out cable coming out here. And then I even have this little box right here which controls uh, which controls my zoom on this Sony camera. So I've got a lot of stuff hanging on this thing right now and I've run this for uh, multiple hours at a time and it has the motors have not been an issue. So so anyway, our topic today is uh, the how can you remote control the panning and the tilting with this? So I'm still going to be using remote control um, zoom and exposure with Filmic Pro or Movie Pro. Probably Filmic Pro now that I'm paying them the 20, got the the discounted twenty dollars a year. I have hopes that the Black Magic app is going to add the remote zoom capabilities. Um, it, it actually does have remote zoom if you use the uh, Nucleus Nano 2, the Tilta Nucleus Nano 2 um, remote zoom. Um, it does not have remote exposure though. So, so anyway, I'm kind of keep, I've got my ears, ears open for that. Um, but anyway, um, technique number one for remote control is the artificial intelligence. So, so basically, you just give it the little the little symbol. So it's a, an OK symbol, starts it tracking, and then kind of a hand up like this stops it tracking. Now, if your speaker accidentally does uh, a gesture like this, it's going to stop it from tracking. So um, I could I can actually see that happening with uh, with the speaker. So um, I'm going to use that as little as possible. And um, but anyway, there's three other techniques that I'm going to show you today. And um, one of them, when I was watching the the different product videos, the, what was one that just set my imagination on fire. And I thought this was going to be the perfect solution. I didn't see more than two or three seconds uh, demoed in any of the videos. So we're going to look at that. And uh, so first of all, I'm going to take away this little guy so it doesn't accidentally kick in and so this is this is actually an optional piece you don't have to pay for that if you don't think you'll need it but um all right so I'm going to switch views here to where you can see a little bit more of what's going on here I've actually got down below uh, so this is my this is an iPad running Filmic Pro and I can do my exposure my exposure reticle and my focus reticle right here and then I've got some zooming capabilities here as well so anyway so that's what you're seeing in the background here this right here is an is an old iPhone SE first generation running the Hohem Joy app and uh, so when you go into that there's going to be an option to to run it as to do your recording through this or to use remote control which is what I'm doing so inside the remote control there are the two option two of these options that we're interested in joystick control or motion control and the one that really captured my attention is the motion control so we're gonna look at that one first and that's why I've got this guy uh, let's see if I can pull this down just a tad I've got this this phone on a small rig pan, pan tilt video head so um so anyway i'm able to move the phone around and what this motion control does is it gives you the option to turn on a what they call a force mobile and that uses the gyros inside the phone the ios device and potentially i guess the android devices have that too uh, to to control the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and enable that it makes a little ding when you do it and uh, so anyway I'm gonna start moving the the phone to the right using the the video head and when I first saw this my my heart just kinda of leapt because it's perfect it's like if I move it slow it moves slow if I move it quickly it moves quickly um, it does depend on what your settings are inside the settings. So let me just let me just bring you in there real quick. If I do left, right, and ch change that to medium or high, let's just stick on medium there. 
and then get back into this. All right, and then we'll move it, we'll move it faster. So if I move it quickly, it it pans and tilts quickly. If I move this up and down, then I get up and down on the on the camera. So what's what's not to love here? Well, I don't know if you can see this, but my hands are not on the camera and it's drifting. So it, it uh, I'm going to move it back towards the center. Seems like if I get it, it, it starts drifting in whatever uh, direction. There it goes. And I don't know why it's... Anyway, that's it's it's drifting on us here. Uh, my head is moving closer to the frame. I can move it back and let's go in this direction. There it goes. And I've, it's actually done different things at different times. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to use a different technique. Let's move this back here. And we will go into the joystick control. So I'm going to just do this to get this back in my head back in view. All right, so this is probably the way I'm going to have to go. Um, that was actually a little bit more severe drifting than what I've seen in I've done about four takes of this video and that's the most dramatic drift that I've seen but it's always drifted even if, if even if very slowly if you don't touch if you don't touch the pan tilt your subject will eventually drift off the screen so um so anyway this is probably the the one I like the best as far as the most predictable and I'm just going to put my thumb in the middle of the circle and then start moving in the direction that I want the camera to go. So left, right. If you just nudge it, I've got this set to medium speed. If I just nudge, it'll go slow. If I push hard, it will go at full medium speed. And if I had set this to, if I set this to uh, the high speed, then I could go very quickly from one 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 setting to another. Maybe, maybe we can maybe we can switch over there real quick. We'll switch this from medium to high, and go back and and do a real quick pan. So this is full speed, and um, so anyway, can I still move it slowly in full speed? I can if I just gently nudge it there. So so anyway. Uh, I like this. I like this. It's not. I think it's easier to move this, but I don't know if this is a. Let's go back to that one for a second. Motion control. I don't know if this is a an, an iOS problem. I've tried this with the four iOS devices I have. Um, the, um, the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This SE. I've tried it with iPads and with all of them invariably there's drift and it seems like with some of them there's more drift than others and I'm trying to discern if there's any drift right now. I think I think my face is drifting towards the towards the center here. So but anyway if I move this this is so awesome. Anyway, I don't know if this is an Apple problem or a Hohem problem. One thing that I could, could actually use this if when I turn this off and turn it back on, there wasn't that little ding. Uh, I, that would be distracting in a live production. If there was at least an option to turn that, to turn the ding off, that would be super helpful because I could make my, make my adjustment, whether, whether I'm panning, tilting, or whatever, and then as soon as I'm as soon as I've got the camera in the right place turn it off and then it will then it will honor that and there won't be any drift um, one little detail um, in one of the recent updates I like this to I may have already mentioned that this in this video but I like to be able to lift up and have the camera tilt up there's an option to reverse that so that what it you can 
if it's going in the other direction, you can you can flip it that way, and at, that is not working for the force enable force mobile in the latest version of the app. So I'd love to see that fixed, but if it's going to ding, it doesn't matter. So anyway, the last option I want to show you is a little piece. Uh, it's an optional piece here called the. It's just a Hohim remote, and it's pretty simple. It's got left, right, up, down. And I think for this, um, let me move, I've got my arm in the way there. Um, let's switch to another view, view. but before I do, uh, let's go here. Uh, we'll go to the settings, and I'm gonna switch this down to the low speed, so. And the reason I'm doing that, let's switch over to just this view right here. Okay, so I've got my little remote. Um, there is no slow or fast on on this. Basically, if you, it's going to honor the settings that are inside the app. So, when I, since this is on slow, when I press this, it's going to go slow. Um, So left, right, up, down, and I don't have this reverse. So when I'm pressing up, the camera's going down, and when I press down, it's going up. So that could be fixed inside the settings. So this little guy runs about $15. I'm kind of glad I have it, but um, I like the variable speed of that other option, which was the joystick combo. I like being able to push a little bit harder and get uh, the faster speed and push a little slower and get the slower very very subtle pan and tilt and so forth so so anyway the only other uh, thing I want to say is I'd like to see um, either ho him or somebody in, my, in the next gimbal I'd, I'd actually you know I, I don't plan on running a heavier a heavier camera when I'm doing the conference so I actually I love this uh, let me just switch to this view again um, I actually like this gimbal for this particular camera for the heavier camera and I'd consider buying another one but what I'd really like to see before I do I'd like to I'd love to buy one the ones made specifically for uh, for the iPhone but I could only do that if the cable and we'll switch back to this view the cable you know what we will pop the ai control back in there so i can have it track with me a little bit all right we'll give it that symbol uh the cable needs to be integrated into the gimbal so wouldn't it be cool if the k if the the usb-c cable actually joined into the gimbal and then past Gen 2 USB-C down to the base of the gimbal where you could then plug in a USB-C hub where you could get the clean the HDMI port for clean HDMI out you could get USB in for audio dual channel audio in you could get the USB-C out Gen 2 speeds for SSD recording potentially audio monitoring and Ethernet so so anyway, I'd love to see a USB-C cable integrated into one of these hubs, Gen 2 hubs. Hohim, if you're listening, um, maybe the MT7 or something like that could could have that feature. So now that we're now that all the phones are kind of moving towards in that direction. So anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for tuning in to Tom Q's Tech Tips. Love to hear your comments below, and have a good day. Bye for now.